two will become one. Hello and I am the Invertibarian and welcome back to the channel and thank you ever so much for tuning in. In today's video we will be amalgamating the two hermit crabs into the one enclosure and might I say I think this might be my best build to date. Okay, so having spoke to a number of long-term hermit crab keepers, it's been recommended that the two species will do absolutely fine together in the one big tank. It could actually be beneficial for these, which tend to hide away quite a lot. These guys, uh, the smaller setup at the moment, are quite active. So hopefully these will help bring these ones out of their shells. Boom, boom, boom. And yeah, let's take them apart and amalgamate them into one big tank. The first thing I'm going to have to do, of course, is find all the little crabbies and pop them into a wee tub. Hey, Luna. It's a shame because I kind of quite like this set up, but I think it could also look great, them all being in one big. Ah, let's just do it and see what happens. So that's tank number one, having been emptied of its inhabitants. Now it's time to find the inhabitants of tank number two. So here is our little snaily family. Let us build an enclosure that they can all live in together. Right, that is all the substrate in. The water bowls are in place. Over the far side we have the salt water. This is just the still water. Let them settle. Substrate is in. Now I'm not going to film the putting in of the decorations for... It's probably going to take me a wee while to get how I want it. I'm constantly going to be blocking the camera's view as I lean into the tank. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn off the camera. I'm going to get the setup done and then I will bring you back once it's done. You can see there's certain bits I've left in place, such as the, the diving pools, the plant I've put in at the back there, uh, the, the raised climbing bit I've left there. So the rest of this, I'm just going to play about with the materials and I'll see you when it's completed. So after ooh, quite some time of faffing and tweaking and adjusting and moving, I think I've finally got something I quite like in a Crabistat 3.0. So let's go have a look. Well, it was kind of remained the same. It's... Nah, let's go have a look. So please excuse the uh, reflection of the sunlight on the glass and all that jazz. So as previously, we've got our salt pool coming up. We've added some climbing material along the front here. We have still the climbing moss pit at the back there. We've added in the fern plant, which hopefully will do okay. A little rockery coming across. Moss pit there at the back. Again, we've still got this climbing frame up onto this raised platform. Coming down, we've got the freshwater pool. We've created a kind of tunnel going under there that will come up or by there, the Shell Exchange Centre and Coral. And, and there's another kind of little tunnel goes under there. Lots of climbing areas, lots of hiding areas. Uh, we've put some fresh food out. So we've got some uh, broccoli, got some cauliflower, some cauliflower flower leaves, some grapes, some apple. Uh, some pre-killed mealworms, some mealworm husk, a bit of uh, peanut butter, and we've got bits of snake skin dotted around the enclosure too. The only thing I need to add is some hermit crab food. Now, as it stands, humidity is sitting around about 83%. We want to increase that, but that'll increase once both lids are on. Temperatures are sitting around about 80 I need to up that to about 80, 
85 there about again once the lids are on the heat will build up within the tank so i've tried to position the camera to avoid as much uh, outside glare as possible but it is daytime and the sun is now trying to get out okay so it's time to introduce our beloved crabbies back into their enclosure so <laughs> Crabistat 3.0 up and complete. Crabs are in, they're settling in. I can just kind of see one uh, in about there somewhere, I think, headed for the water. Uh, they're climbing all about the place. I'm hoping now that there's, what, four, five, seven? <laughs> My simple math. Now that there's seven of them in there, hopefully it should be more enjoyable to watch as opposed to when there was just three and you didn't really see uh, much movement in there so hopefully the two different species will kind of encourage each other to be sociable maybe get together go for a pint or two uh, chill out by the pond have a feed free chill so i'm really happy with that i might make a few wee adjustments over time but as it stands i'm really loving it nice deep substrate lots of climbing frames they've got everything they need in there plus hopefully a little bit more to make it interesting for them um, so yeah, that is it for me. I will keep you updated on how they get on and how well this pans out. I'm hoping there's going to be lots of lovely action to watch and lots of little hilarity because they are quite funny little creatures. And that is it for me. Uh, any questions, any queries, do pop them in the comment section down below. Thank you ever so much for watching. We couldn't have got this far if it wasn't for people continually watching the materials and the feedback and the, the engagement with the audience and you all you all are just absolutely brilliant and I thank each and every single one of you. Uh, do comment, I'll always try and respond and communicate and if you've got channels let me know, I'll check out your channel, do my best to help support you as you have me and yeah uh, I do work a lot so it can be difficult sometimes to catch up on YouTube so I can only apologise if you don't think I'm watching your stuff, but I will always try and sort of 
dip in and out and watch some of your videos but yeah that's that's the working life of a, a father and a worker and all that yeah do you know how it is anyway please do like comment share and subscribe <laughs> waffle 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 please do like comment share and subscribe be good be kind take care of yourselves and we'll see you in the next one thank you and goodbye bye One point twenty one gigawatts! Great Scots! Okay, so we're a week in. I've added dwarf isopods just as a cleanup crew. I will add some springtails. And another thing I've noticed, because we have the UV light fitted, is we actually have some plant life starting to develop inside the tank. How awesome is that? Little sprouts shooting up giving it that more authentic and realistic feel. I think it's, there's some more just developing down in there. I think it's really awesome. I think this tank is just going to grow and evolve over time and look absolutely awesome as the sort of bioactive setup just uh, kicks in. And yeah, hopefully it's going to look absolutely awesome. I will keep you tuned as to how it goes. As always, comments down below. Thank you so much. Take care and goodbye. As, as I said, Crabistat 3.0 and I'm now going to leave you with some pictures I've taken of the crabs as they've been doing their little activities in and around the new setup. Thank you and goodbye. <laughs>